Hello, and welcome to the Argo Capability Comparison video. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you the various benefits and advantages the Argo has compared to similar off-road competitive vehicles on the market. While both of the competitors' vehicles we'll be using are capable and competent machines suitable for many tasks, what we want to demonstrate is that these vehicles fall short when compared to the Argo. As you'll see, for these types of situations, the Argo is the clear winner. Before we begin, we want to inform you that the tests in this video have been performed by experienced drivers, and under no circumstances does Ontario Drive and Gear advocate dangerous driving. Safety is always in season. Do not operate your Argo before reading your Argo operator's manual first. With that being said, let's get started. In situations where a vehicle must drive over moguls or small hills, the competition could find performing this task somewhat difficult. Both vehicles upon being tested proved that they could bottom out in this terrain. They make it up the moguls, but when it comes to getting over them, they can bottom out regardless of ground clearance or loss of traction caused by high centering. You may get stuck if you decide to take these vehicles through a few moguls. The Argo, on the other hand, easily tackles this type of rugged terrain. In an identical test, the Argo effortlessly made it up and down every mogul it encountered. Not once did the Argo get high centered on top of a mogul. It performed flawlessly without any signs of stress or loss of power. Clearly, if you need to make it through mogul-filled terrain, the Argo is the sensible choice. With a payload of six people and a 1,000-pound payload in tow, the Argo is able to make it up and down the same moguls. And while the competition is also capable of pulling a 1,000-pound load, when it comes to making it through some moguls, count them out. What about tight turns in a small area? When a driver has to navigate around obstacles, the Argo is again the optimal vehicle. Look at what happens to the competition as it attempts to steer through the moguls. Time and time again, the driver is forced to back up and readjust the vehicle back on course. Because both competitors have such large turning radiuses, it's harder for them to steer through the obstacles. The Argo steers flawlessly and effortlessly to the operator's commands through the mogul course. Due to its tight skid steer turning radius, the Argo shows no trouble navigating through the series of obstacles. The Argo's turning radius is so small, it is even able to turn around the circumference of the moguls. Just try doing that in one of the competitor vehicles and see how far you get. When you have to make a tight turn in the middle of a trail, the Argo is clearly able to do so. But when it comes to the competition, they once again do not stand a chance. Their turning radius is simply far too wide. Here it is on flat ground, so that you can really see the difference. The Argo is able to turn in on itself, whereas the competitors can't. If you need to make it up a hill, the Argo is the vehicle with superior climbing capabilities. Watch as it powers up the side of the hill. Absolutely no trouble. This is due to the traction of the Argo's six or eight wheel drive and the Argo's low center of gravity design gives it great stability. The competition experiences considerable difficulty, making it up halfway on the same hill. When it comes to traveling in hilly areas, there is only one vehicle to go with, the Argo. What happens when you encounter a narrow ditch or a small culvert while you're out driving? Well, if you go with this vehicle, better bring a winch because you're probably going to end up getting stuck. While this vehicle was incapable of making it through this ditch, the Argo was able to get up the ditch while carrying six people and 1,000 pound load because of the Argo's all-wheel drive and traction to all wheels. Whereas the competitor vehicle only carried one person and a 1,000 pound load. The one feature that without a doubt sets the Argo apart from its competitors is its amphibious characteristics. 
the Argo is able to go through water. With webbed tires that propel it through the water at 3.5 miles per hour, Argo has characteristics that are similar to a boat. The competition sinks. Perhaps you encounter obstacles such as a downed tree while on a trail. While most vehicles would have to turn around and go back or find an alternative route, the Argo is able to carefully navigate up and over it. Although this vehicle is able to get its front wheels up on the log, were it to go any further, it would inevitably end up getting high centered. We didn't continue this because we were afraid we would damage the undercarriage. The Argo, on the other hand, no problem. For times when you have to climb through extreme terrain over rocks, the Argo once again has the clear advantage. The competitor vehicles lack the muscle or traction to make it up. While they might be able to make it up partway, it would be quite surprising to see them at the top of the rock pile. We didn't attempt to take these vehicles any further over the rocks because we were once again afraid we might damage the vehicles. And the Argo's full-length skid plate protects its lower body. The Tracked Argo is also ideal for trekking through deep snow, whereas the competition runs the risk of getting stuck. If you want an off-road vehicle with true all-season performance, then go with the Argo. The Argo is also capable of transporting up to six people on land and four in the water. None of the competitors can do that, and they definitely won't float. What if you require a vehicle that can perform in a flooded area? Although the competition may get through some shallow flooded areas, you won't stay clean and dry and you risk losing your vehicle. To get your job done, only the Argo is able to navigate confidently through most flooded environments while keeping you and your tools clean and dry. Now that you've seen for yourself the tests and what the three vehicles are capable of, there should be no debate as to the overall advantages of the Argo. In every task, the Argo demonstrated its superior capability. But don't take our word for it. Go to your nearest dealer and find out for yourself. You'll be glad you did.